Alright guys, I just wanted to come on here today for a quick video. Won't be riding or doing anything like that during this video, but I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys because I have a really important decision that I kind of want to weigh out and get you guys opinion on it all and see what I need to do essentially. So as you guys know, I actually sold the Porsche um, and I made pretty decent money on selling it and I won't tell you exactly how much, but I made a pretty good decent amount on it. And so I was thinking about that and like thinking about what I want my next car to be and I was really, really going for an Audi RS3, probably a 2017, 2018 Audi RS3 in white or the hyper blue. And so I was thinking about that and like thinking about weighing up all the options and I came to realization that in the end it won't make me a ton of money like it won't like i can make an awesome youtube series on it getting it and that kind of thing but i won't be able to like use that car anything past youtube like i'll have my dream car obviously but what else could i buy with the same amount of money or a little bit less than money that can make me more money in the end and so that's kind of where i'm at right now is what else do i buy that can make me more money and I'd still have a fun car to like drive and take the shows and make videos out of and everything like that. So that's my first option. My first option is buying my dream car, having a reliable brand new car that I can take to the mountains, that I can have fun with all my friends, to make a build series out of it, that kind of thing. But it'll be a lot slower of a build series because it did, they have parts on for that car are so expensive. So that's kind of like my option number one. And I don't know if that's the route I want to go. My other option is that I have the 1987 BMW outside. You guys have seen in the background of a few videos when I used to live here. I'm in Goldsboro right now, as you guys can tell. I'm not home in Charlotte. And so I really am considering building that E30 outside the BMW for about five to six to seven thousand dollars. I mean it needs a new motor, it needs to be free manual swapped, it needs a lot of things, wheels, coilovers, turbo kit maybe, I don't know, you guys like that. But it needs a lot. And I think about six to seven thousand dollars it would be pretty pristine and pretty clean. So that's what I'm thinking about for my car side of things. But I still need something that I can make a lot of money with. And so that's when the idea came up about getting a Can-Am X3. And as you guys know, all of my friends have X3s. I love X3s, I love driving them. Y'all never really got to see me drive an X3 and it's a lot of fun because I actually do drive Kyle's, Haley's, and Braden's quite a bit. So it'll be cool for you guys to see that first person for for me to get one. But what I'd do different is not only would I be able to make you awesome YouTube content out of it, I'd be able to have another way to make more money on the side, doing side film jobs and everything like that. Let me explain. So my good friend Jacob, who is the owner of Golden Peaks Productions, he goes on rallies with me, he does all this stuff, and I met him through Crown Rally, as you guys will come to see in a few weeks. I'm actually going up there to talk to them and do a little collaboration with them. So keep a lookout for that. But me and him got to talking and I was like, there's no one really doing that type of filming, which is on a rig, as you guys can see here. No one's doing that kind of for the off-road scene in a budget way. So everybody, you can pay $100,000 to get a commercial shot, but why not spend 20,000 and get a guy who's already figured out the system and not production grade. Obviously I'll have production quality as we are talking right now with good production quality. And why not build a rig on a Can-Am instead? And I'll show you guys a picture here, and I probably wouldn't do this right away. I'd probably do something like this, where it's like the K with the rods and like, you know, the stabilizer on the front of the, or the front or back of a rig. I'd probably do it more of a budget way rather than doing it full production right away. That way I can, you know, pay it off easier and that kind of thing, so. And even be able to film people like Haley Kyle and Braden to a new extent and anybody else because I'm if I got an X3 I'd make it street legal and so it really opens two worlds up for me to make more money and to produce better videos production wise and quality wise and while I really want both about the same it would be so cool to have the RS3 right now in my life while I'm 24 and you know having your dream car at 24 is a big accomplishment and it would be cool to do that but I feel like content wise and where I'm at in life, I want to make more money. And I feel like having an X3 will better benefit me for my career rather than me 
go ahead and spend the money on the dream car, why not buy this Can-Am, buy this rig, buy this setup, buy this camera, and work and use all that money that I make off that for an RS3, go ahead and pay it off, and then have dream car and another, and still have both ways to make money. And I feel like there's obviously a right answer here, but I just wanted to get your guys' opinions. It'd be really cool to have either or, or both at the same time, RS3 and Can-Am, but I feel like right now, financially wise, it'd be smarter to invest in something that's gonna make you money rather than go ahead and buy my dream car. So please let me know what you guys think. Kind of already have a feeling. I'm going to go to Performance East while I'm here and just look at them. I already know which one I want. And so, like, I've already done all the research, kind of. So, I really want to get your guys' opinions because that is really important to me and what I do on this channel. I hope you guys are obviously having a great Christmas slash holiday season. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a video live on Thursday or not. Just because I didn't bring up home a pit bike or a four-wheeler or anything like that. So, But before I end the video off, I am going to go outside and show y'all the E30 if y'all guys haven't seen it yet. It's a 1987 vert e30 bronze it probably paint it or probably get a hard top for it and i probably lower it on some nice wheels and engine swap it so but to recap the two options are 2017 audi rs3 worth about this much or having a can-am x3 and an e30 so make money this way and get a lot of project videos out of the e30 and build can-am build that kind of stuff build the rig shoot commercial grade videos or get my dream car. So guys, let me know what you think and uh, let's go check out the E30. So I am gonna tell you guys the backstory behind the E30 before we walk outside because it is a little cold and it is a little rainy outside so it's kind of nasty. But I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys the story of where the E30 came from and why it's important to me. So this E30, as you guys can see right here, right there. It was actually my grandma's. She bought it brand new in 1987, and it's actually crazy because there's actually a hitch on the, when I go out there, there's actually a hitch on the back. She used to tow jet skis, a two, a dual trailer jet ski all the way to the beach from here, so it's about two and a half hours, but she used to tow jet skis with it all the time to the beach. So it actually has about a little over 320,000 miles on it. So here it is, if you guys can't see, there's a tarp over with some stuff on it, but I mean, here's the hitch. Isn't that crazy? Like, she used to tow with this car. That's pretty cool. But like I said, it is a vert top. It needs a new top. It needs a bunch of stuff. The suspension's obviously shot on it. But as you guys can tell there, like, there's the front end. It looks pretty sick. And, like, my main thing would be able to engine swap this car for a video, slam it for a video, get new wheels and tires for a video, replacing the hard top, how to engine swap a car. I don't even know how to do any of that stuff yet, but I'd be on the ride with you guys. So let me know. This is this would be a really cool project. It would be restoring my grandma's car. It would be really cool, especially it being an E30 because those are one of the coolest classic cars, classic cars to me now. So let me know, guys. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to upload on Thursday. Don't know what I'd upload yet. I'll read some comments. Maybe we can talk about this again. It's really cool that I get to come on here and be able to talk to you guys about my decisions and uh, make you guys a part of this because, because YouTube is a really big part of who I am. And I love watching YouTube. I know you guys love watching YouTube. And so this is just going to be a really hard decision for me. So let me know. Like I said, I'm going to try to video some stuff this week, but it might be raining all week. So I don't know if I really can even get something out. So hope you guys like the look of the Subaru. Leave a like, leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already because guys we are so close to 70,000 subscribers. I was actually right at 70,000 and a few weeks ago it reset back to 66 so I don't know what happened there. But if you guys would subscribe if you aren't already. Hope you guys have an awesome Christmas week and if I don't see you before Christmas, Merry Christmas guys and uh, I'll see you guys before New Year.